So astronomers again are changing their theories concerning the gas giant Jupiter protecting us from incoming celestial objects. They say that Jupiter is flinging comets towards our Earth and not shielding us from comets. Some astronomers believe that Jupiter, instead of protecting Earth from dangerous comets and asteroids, is actively flinging objects into the inner solar system. New research demonstrates this complex process in action. Now we know the recent uh, the video before this one, Jupiter, Saturn pushing uh, other planets uh, out from our solar from our sun, uh, creating asteroid belts and comets. Uh, one of the uh, spacecraft that was the Lucy probe that was sent out yesterday, it was launched yesterday, will be making a trip to these Jupiter asteroids and uh, finding out what they're made of. So uh, this is uh, new research demonstrating that, that, that Jupiter is in fact flinging out comets towards our Earth. A popular theory suggests Jupiter with its tremendous mass acts like a gigantic shield in space sucking in or uh, that is from its gravity sucking in objects to protect us so that they don't come towards our earth or deflecting dangerous debris left over from the formation of our solar system that makes sense but the jupiter shield theory as it's known has been falling out of favor over the past 20 years finally support my patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what i have on my youtube channel Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. A leading critic of the theory is Kevin Grazier, formerly of the West Point U.S. Military Academy and NASA, and he has sought to debunk this idea for years. He's published several studies of the subject, including a 2008 paper titled Jupiter is a sniper rather than a shield. Indeed, with each successive paper, Grazier has increasingly demonstrated the ways in which Jupiter, instead of being our protector, is actually, though indirectly, a pernicious threat. Grazier's latest foray into the subject involves a pair of companion papers, one published in the Astronomical Journal in 2018, the other in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Journal of the UK in 2019, the first paper takes a look at the complex ways in which objects in the outer solar system are affected by the Jovian planets, namely Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. While the second paper looks at a specific family of icy bodies and how they're transformed by Jupiter into potentially deadly comets. And looking at the findings of the two papers, it seems that the Jupiter shield theory is in serious jeopardy. Actually, I wouldn't say that it's in jeopardy. I would say that it has just been laid to rest, Grazier and Gizmodo said in an email. They said, our simulations show that Jupiter is just as likely to send comets at Earth as to deflect them away, and we've seen that in the real solar system. To be clear, this was a very good thing when the Earth was young, as comets and asteroids delivered the essential ingredients required for life on Earth. Today, though, these impacts are, of course, most certainly not good, as they could trigger mass extinction events similar to the one that extinguished the non-avian dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Now, Grazier's papers present new models that demonstrate the complex astrophysical processes required to convert distant celestial bodies into local threats. And working with collaborators from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, at University of Southern Queensland of Australia, Grazier showed that how subjects in the scattered disk, a ring within the Kuiper belt that contains many Neptune approaching planetismals, are influenced by the Jovian planets. They also show how centaur, centaurs, a group of icy bodies in orbit beyond Jupiter and Neptune, are transformed by Jupiter into potentially Earth threatening comets. And these are huge, these centaurs specifically a collection of objects known as Jupiter family comets. Using simulations, the researchers found that Centaur objects, Jupiter family comets, and objects in the scattered disk are not dynamically distinct populations, and that the orbits of these objects in these families evolve under the gravitational influence of the Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, 
Neptune and Uranus. And the objects can move between these three dynamically classifications many times over their lifetimes, Grazier explains. The researchers used a jet propulsion lab tool that allowed them to simulate the positions of Jovian planets at any given point in time, and the gap between these planets where were then seeded with particles, icy bodies, placed in random orbits. And the model crunched the numbers, predicting the positions of both the planets and the particles along their orbits over long time periods. The simulation could churn out results at regular intervals, but also when an interesting event occurred that strongly influenced the trajectory of a particle. The model affirmed a long-standing hypothesis that centaurs are fed by the scattered disk and that the Jovian planets play a role in this process. And more ominously, the model showed how Jupiter family comets, or JFCs, are born. This research was equal parts planetary dynamics and computer science, or arguably data science, said Grazier. He says, in our simulations, a large fraction of these objects that became Jupiter family comets, JFCs, are first grabbed by Jupiter into what are called temporary capture orbits, or TSCs, orbits that circle Jupiter a few times, then leave Jupiter, often in a very different orbit. We know that TSCs happen. The comet P111 Helen Roman Crockett spent over 11 years in orbit around Jupiter in the 70s and 80s and will be captured again in 2070s. So that's 100 years later. The exit geometry from these events is what determines the object is if the object is on a Jupiter family comet orbit or not. That Jupiter family comet, JFCs, actually exist was already known. In 1767, an object called D1770L1, Lexel, made a close approach to Jupiter, causing it to migrate into an Earth-crossing orbit, God forbid, thus becoming the first known Jupiter family comet. Grazer said, we've known that Jupiter converts our solar system objects into JFCs for some time, we just have not had a model for exactly how that process unfolds until now. Now, as for Jupiter or even Saturn still acting as a shield, Grazier said that that remains true, but these ja gas giants mostly protect Earth from objects caught between them. As for objects found in the outer solar system, that's a different story. In an email to Gizmodo, John T. Horner, co-author of both studies, said Jupiter performs a dual role, saying it takes things that threaten Earth and flings them away, clearing space near our planet. So in that sense, it is something of a shield, Horner said, astronomer at the University of Southern Queensland. And going on to say, on the flip side, though, it takes things that come nowhere near Earth and flings them our way, meaning it's also a threat. To find out which side is more important and to determine whether Jupiter is truly friend or foe, you need to look at the story in some detail, she said. Interestingly, these simulations also predicted the presence of other planetary family comets. One interesting thing our work highlighted is that Saturn, to a lesser extent Uranus and Neptune, also have their own comet families, but those are much smaller than the con those controlled by Jupiter, Horner said. And whilst it might seem like our work is pre in predicting something we have not yet seen, it's actually the case that our work is supporting and explaining what we already see. The Jupiter family comets have been known for a long time, long, long time, and it has always been thought that Jupiter throws them inward and controls their orbits. Disturbingly, this remains an ongoing process. The population of centaurs is constantly being replenished by the scattered bits of debris found in the scattered disk, consequently, JFCs are an even present impact threat. This is what the authors wrote in their paper in 2019. We already know that Earth is in the cosmic crosshairs, Grazier says. There are hundreds of near-Earth objects that are potentially hazardous. I think we now just have to pay more attention to what happens a bit farther away in Jupiter's neighborhood. Now, excitingly, NASA is considering a pair of missions to study Jupiter's centaurs close up using two spacecraft named Centaurus and Chimera. 
And these missions, if approved, would tell us more about the origin of the solar system, but perhaps more importantly, they could tell us more about the ways in which these objects pose a threat to our Earth. This was by George Worski, Gizmodo Australia, on Bended Reality. So this is a totally different aspect of Jupiter flinging comets towards us. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.